lot of people come into the downtown square and they feel like they're in a Hallmark movie. They're like, this can't be real. There's something special about downtown Mason City. It's something you can't even really put a finger on other than that whatever it is, they've got it here. We've lived in Mason City not quite two years, so we have actually come to Mason City on vacation before. As a tourist, some of the things we did were Music Man Square. This is the home of Meredith Wilson. There's a museum here, and you can actually tour his boyhood home. They have a great sculpture walk throughout the downtown very historic buildings throughout the city, but especially the city is known for Frank Lloyd Wright. In 1910, he built the Historic Park Inn. It's a beacon for the world to come here and be a part of the architectural history. Mason City, it's a great balance of tradition and progressive elements to it. I think that they respect the old and they appreciate the new. I wanted to be a part of bringing the community back to the downtown. Turtle Creek Pottery has been my business the longest. I decided to go into the paint your own pottery section of it and that just kept taking off and it kept building off of that. Market 124, when I originally opened, it was with the intent of having an indoor market. Mason City is kind of the meeting place of everybody in this area, you know, halfway between Minneapolis, halfway down to Des Moines. And so it just kind of made sense to be able to pull from all those small towns around. I've always known that I needed a coffee shop here. The building itself was Heart Motors. I was just trying to be authentic to the history. It's not ever been about the money. Anything that I've been able to make on this building has always gone right back into the building. It's always been about the community. You need people to live downtown for it to thrive, and that's something that's really being developed in downtown Mason City. We've got a great new project going on. It's called The River, and it's the first major apartment building in Mason City in several years, part of a River City Renaissance program. Another is Hyatt Place. We're having a hotel development come in that will be connected by a skywalk to Music Man Square. I really think that you understand the passion behind all the projects. All of the elements that make this an attractive community are driven by the people who live here. And it's all passionate people who want to make it a better place.